Welcome back guys to the channel, the only channel on YouTube that actually makes MetaZoo videos. And today guys, wouldn't you know it, it's been less than a week from the end of Caster's Cup. And Caster's Cup 2023 has already been announced, baby. The next prize pool for that is going to be $1.25 million. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of dollar bills. Uh, first place is going to leave with 500 k If you make top 32, you make $5,000 and you get like the promo cards and whatever else. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You know, I think that's very exciting. I do think next year though for Casper's Cup, they're going to raise the bar for you to enter from enter a single local event into maybe have a certain amount of like official MetaZoo MPN points or something, right? Probably something like that. Because this year, uh, I mean, MetaZoo is still very, very new. Uh, the event was pretty much just like a ton of newer players. And I'll be honest, guys, I'm still a new, newer player myself. I'm still kind of a scrub. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, went in with Lightning, got clapped, went three wins, three ties, and two losses. I still had fun. But, you know, I think for next year, they are going to up it a little bit more because the prize pool is so much more. And the game will be more established at that point. Now, I'll be honest, guys. I think if you just go to the event again, uh, getting the promos, getting the plushes, getting the jerseys, whatever all, other collectibles, I think that'll probably make up for your hotel expenses, your travel expenses, um, just that stuff. You don't. I don't even think you have to be top 32 to break even. Um, now, if you guys are interested, I will be selling uh, this tote bag. I also have some of the um, MetaZoo water bottles. I don't know where I put them. I swear I just had like two of them, like right next to me. But um, yeah, I think you could sell a lot of the random merchandise and probably make your money back. It's funny. Um, I am legitimately going to be keeping one of the water bottles for myself because I just think they're cool. I think like a, they're like a light, nice little memento. Um, me and my family actually have a whole like cabinet in the kitchen where we just keep like small things, right? Like we have like some wedding stuff. We have like some Coke cans from back when the San Antonio Spurs, uh, I think they won a championship back in like the early 2000s or something. Uh, we have some like actual, like I think it was like wine bottles of hand sanitizer. And it's really cool. I think it was like vodka bottles of hand sanitizer. And it's really cool. It was like from the beginning of COVID back when the alcohol companies were like having to make hand sanitizer because everyone was buying hand sanitizer. It was crazy. So in there, I'm going to put my MetaZoo water bottle. Very exciting. Um, now, aside from that, guys, I think it's also very interesting. Or I guess the bigger thing for a lot of players is that there's going to be a lot more tournaments popping up with cash prizes. I think this is pretty cool, especially if you're trying to make a living being a MetaZoo player. I think there is a strong possibility the further the game goes along, the higher the chance of you actually being able to do that is. Um, so let's just say you make like top eight, top four in a cash event, you vlog it. I mean, I think that'll, that'll make you a decent chunk of change. Um, I think social media is probably gonna be where a lot of the money is actually made for a lot of people, um, including me, which is cool. Now, next thing guys, personal thing, uh, no more openings for the next while, guys. I'll be honest. I, I got my opening itch out of the way. I'm not going to need any new big cards for a good while. And I'm probably going to be sticking to tabletop sim for a hot minute because I'm kind of burnt out on all the travel and going to card shops and stuff. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, also, I'm kind of slightly out of money. I should... I should be doing the smart thing and not be buying cardboard right now. I should be buying like stocks or like bonds or something. I don't know, man. I don't know. Someone's going to toast me in the comments, Mark. You probably don't even own a single MetaZoo card, Mark. You're a freaking Goomba, Mark. Shut up. Now, next for me, guys, I will be taking the MetaZoologist test. Um, so for me, what that means is that I'm basically just going to be studying. I'm going to be going through the rule book a lot. I'm going to be going through the uh, the rule indexes a lot, the tournament policies, and taking all the practice, uh, taking all the practice, 
taking all of the practice exams that are available on the MetaZoo website. And after I pass one of my exams, I am planning on making some more like longer form videos on rulings and stuff and going through the practice exams because I think that would be cool. I don't, I don't know if there's any MetaZoo judges that actually have videos or YouTube channels or anything. I just think it'd be cool. It'd be easier to make videos, I guess. I could just talk about rulings for 10 minutes and y'all would be like, Walmart, that's pretty cool. I think that's what would happen. That'd be nice, it'd be nice. Just have constant videos talking about random rulings that never even matter. But, um, yeah. I don't know what this, I wrote something on here. Oh, yep, I know what that is. I am also going to be learning how to play more decks in MetaZoo. I think uh, the more decks you can play, the more complete player you are. The chances are you'll be able to do better against the meta and against different players in the tournaments because you'll know how to play against them. Now, I think the next deck for show sure that I'll be learning how to play is, uh, of course, you already know, Cosmic. I got some Reptoid Ruler decks at the Collecticon, and I was very excited because they weren't like super expensive. I think I got. I think I got like two of them for 20 bucks and then I got the other one for like 25, which is really solid. These are online right now currently for like 30 bucks, I think. I don't know, someone tell me I'm wrong. Uh, but they're they're online, they're a little bit more expensive, but I think this is gonna be a really good deck. I think especially with the next set UFO, it's gonna pop off a little bit. I mean, the deck's already really solid. It's already a really good kind of like churn and burn kind of hustle and gristle deck. It's like a better version of Fearsome Critters because it searches the deck. It's kind of wild. And you get a lot of floating auras with the jellies, the jelly smellies, lizard people's wild, Fresno boys are kind of wild. And um, yeah, other than that, maybe ice. I would very much like to learn ice. I think ice would be cool. Amy Cook's kind of bussing, Tizarook's kind of bussing. Uh, what's the other one? It's not Snow White. Uh, Jack Frost. Jack Frost is also kind of cool. It's just be able to. It's just gonna be really cool to be able to get like 15 ice counters on something and just have it not wake up for the rest of the game. I'm imagining freezing a Quetz for like 20 turns. Oh my god, that's gonna be wild. And um, I guess I'll probably end up trying to revamp my lightning deck. I was watching Easton play, and he had like all these different like spells, all these different colored spells. He had growth. He had was it Death Beam? Morpheus? He had some kind of like dark spell in his deck and it was really cool. And I can't remember it right now because I'm bad at the game. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the video, guys. If you watched me ramble for eight minutes, I appreciate it. That's pretty much the video. Next video is probably going to be me opening up this Reptoid Ruler deck. I don't know what's in it. It says there is a... It says there's a coin. There's a rule book in here. I don't know... I don't think this is the new rule bug though. This is the 2021, I think. There's a coin, there's a spell book, there's a sealed holographic reptoid ruler in there. Guys, I'd recommend if you're going to go play Cosmic, just buy the reptoid ruler deck by itself. I wouldn't necessarily go out and buy the hollow by itself, but uh, yeah, that's the video. And I guess the last thing, I have some, my, my comic book guy just got me a bunch of more comics that I gotta sell. Uh, this is the first one that I pulled out, the Black Widow one. Uh, but he has a ton for me to sell, which is very cool. Oh, this one looks cool. Um, I don't know what it is. It just has Spider-Man walking away from, I would assume that's Uncle Ben. I someone Someone's gonna roast me in the comments. Mark, you don't know the Amazing Spider-Man issue number 75, Mark? Are you fake? You're not even a real Spider-Man fan, man. Mark, you, you, you don't even know. Um, there's also the Avengers. Uh, apparently this one has the first printing of or the first appearance of Nebula I don't know what that means but I'm going to be listing them as fast as I can because uh, my guy sent me a whole box of comic books uh, of course we're professionals so we put it in a Bill Miller's bag so that's really cool and um, yeah it's a video guys um, goodbye